Now we're going to talk about creating a template that you can use and reuse for the basis of the majority of your projects. Uh, this one is just going to be parts of a room. It's going to be the back of the room and the two sides. I got this idea because of some of the YouTube videos out there where people are recreating, say, a painting of Vincent Van Gogh's and they need a room. So I used the stock cube template. I'm going to paint it all one color and I'm going to make sure that the cursor of my paintbrush goes right onto the template. That happens when you move close enough to it. You'll see uh, the little point at the end of your paint cursor leap onto the template and you can just go from there. So I'm going to paint all three sides of this. Then once I've gotten that far, I can turn off my grid. And now I've got my three walls. I'm going to save it using the disc icon. You take a photograph. Now I painted in a particular color, but I can absolutely replace the color to anything I want it to be. And if I feel like saving those as their very own sketches, I certainly can. So I'll change it to gray. Go ahead to the save icon, save as a new sketch. Take a photograph of that. Those are going to be in my sketch library forever, basically, unless I erase the memory of the Oculus. That is something that when I do want to call it up and add any details such as windows, uh, I absolutely can do that and save that as a new sketch. It's very similar to how artists will have templates for, say, comic strips in Photoshop that are just the boxes and they fill them in, save them as something new never erasing the original template and making sure they don't have to redo the same amount of work over and over and over again.